Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys and today I'm in Japan. This is actually the sister to the video I just did the other day. This is from Nika and instead of the um, Miyagikyo, I never say the name twice the same way, this is the Yoichi. 2017 rum cast finish 46 percent this is whiskey base number 10 45 45 and this was also bottled this is actually a, a present case both are together in one thing this was bottled for the 70th anniversary of um Velier, um caroni in italy and um the master i don't know blender distiller whatever he is luca gagano actually picked out the casks the rum casks that were used for this bottling and the, um, both of these whiskeys received a one-year rum finish. No age statement. We don't know how old they were before that. And as I said before, um, both bottles are available in, in Great Britain for 340 pounds. For Germany, it's almost 600 um, euros. And so the one place, UK, is much cheaper than um, Germany at the moment. 3,500 bottles, limited edition. And therefore, this is something that will probably go up in price. All right, my nose, my the nosing, it's a very, very, um, I have a little bit of peat. Yoichi actually uses more peat than the other distillery. I have a little bit of rum. I have a little bit of the malt, the malted barley. A little bit of the wood, but it's all very, as if it's... Um, I'm observing something through a um, cotton, wall of cotton. It's all very, very muted. Even the alcohol is really, really not the, the problem at all. I mean, it's only 46%. It should be the sweet spot. All right, let's try it. Mm-hmm. The rum is sweet. The malt is a little bit forward. The wood is slightly there. As I think and I mentioned in the other video, it's a little bit just like a, a subtone. Um, the alcohol is very, very nice. It's just actually balanced. There's a little bit of floral notes going on in there, like a good link wood does as well here. It's more than link wood. It's more like a mortlach. It has a little bit more of a character, complex depth than there, but it's still a little bit on the light side. A little bit of caramel, a little bit of the um, a tiny little bit of toffee. It actually is a little bit much. much it's actually it's it's more complex than the other one I did with the sister cask or the sister bottling. Um, let's put a little bit of water in here. We'll see what happens. I'm going to try to bring it down to about 40%. The, 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 the smoke, the peat, I didn't want to say the speed. It's not a peat monster. It's very, very, it's just, as I said, very, very mellow. Everything's very muted. Nothing actually kicks you in the face and says, hey, but very polite and very, very nice. The rum is nice. The oak barrels are nice. The alcohol is nice. The malt, malted malt, malt, malted barley is nice. Nothing, nothing actually. It's just so coherent, just so balanced. I'm complaining about balance. That's exactly what most people want in a whiskey. Mm-hmm. I guess it's me. I don't know. I'm, I'm not really... It doesn't wow me in any aspect whatsoever. Um, it does have a little bit more complexity. In my German video, I did not mention this, but actually I get it more in the second round. And this is one of the problems of just opening the bottle, trying it, and then saying, oh, that's it. Um, there is more... It's more depth. There's more complexity. There's more going on here. Um... 
I think I gave it in my German video a C plus, and I gave the other one a B minus, and I'm going to actually have to give this also. Um, I, the, the problem is there's a little bit of the the peat in there, which doesn't really appeal to me. I'm going to ignore that for the moment. I'm actually going to going to give it also a B minus. Um, it's an interesting spring light whiskey, almost into a summer whiskey. I do have a little bit of the creme brulee in there. I have a little bit of the breakfast, breakfast English breakfast tea. I have a tiny little bit of the. I'm gonna go for a light blueberry. I think I mentioned in the other one. Take a look at your maybe your sports water. They actually put like a couple drops of um, something in there, maybe um, celery or maybe a little bit of green apple, and just imagine a few drops of like a blueberry. Very very faint, and that's what I get here. It's nice. It's actually nice. It's as I said, it's a B minus. Now, um, nothing to write home about, but often that's the case with Irish, I'm sorry, Irish with Japanese whiskeys. They're very, very, very just rounded. There are, there are no edges. There's nothing to be angry about. There's nothing whatsoever to um, complain about. They're just almost perfect. And yet I gave it a B minus. Yeah, doesn't do it for me today. Sorry. Now, the big problem is, is the price. <laughs> um, as I mentioned before, let's say this is a $200 bottle. No, it's a D minus. Now, the rum, the question is, does the rum really enhance the flavor moment? It spent one year in hand-selected rum casks from Luca Gagano. I would say yes. I would say those rum casks actually give this a more flavor, more body, more complexity, as well as a little bit more of a, the first word that came to mind, playfulness. The other ones was a little bit more um, boring, serious. And this has a little bit more of a youth and a viscosity, a little bit of energy to it. And I really like that. All right, Whiskey Jason here, tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Um, over here in Germany, an American living in Germany, and my question of the day is, investing in whiskey, good idea, bad idea? I ask that because on both of the pages, a website in English as well as German, both of the, um, the distributors were um, making a case for buying this and waiting because they both promise that this would go up in value. Um, first of all, I think if you're going to buy something, steer, tend to steer away from the, um, the independent bottlers, go for the original bottlers. Um, second of all, try to find something that has a limited edition, 3,500 bottles. Um, third, try to look for something that's a little bit more exotic, um, Japanese whiskey, for example. And fourth of all, look at something that has a beautiful um, packaging. And I think this really does check all the boxes for that. Now, um, I would be willing maybe to actually invest 1,000, I'm sorry, 1,170 pounds into buying those two bottles. Because I know that the going price in Germany is actually 600 euros, which is basically um, I would win $100, 100 euros on the spot just by bringing it over here. And I would um, lose no money whatsoever because of import fees or whatever. That's just profit. The question is, if I bought it in Germany for $600 would, or $660, would I actually be able to make a profit on this in the next 10 years or one year or two years? Because I think that that middleman, that that retailer actually has um, upped the margin and he's making the profit. And by the time I, as a private person, can flip it, it's going to take forever to actually reach that same level. And so I'm a little bit worried here about doing that with these bottles. And yet, I must admit, I think investing in whiskey can be a good thing, especially in Germany where I am legally allowed to sell bottles as a private person. I'm legally allowed to sell bottles for a higher profit. Yet I have to, um, after a certain amount, I'm not going to say that amount here on, TV, on, on YouTube, I have to tax the, that profit. Um, I actually have a, um, a business running where I have it on my permit that I'm allowed to now sell and buy whiskeys online. And therefore, I'm on the safe side, so all my taxes are being paid for this. 
but um, I know other people that are making a couple thousand dollars a year profit on selling whiskey. Mm, and I'm not really sure if they've always paid all their taxes on those profits or not. All right, good. So is it okay to flip bottles and make a profit on them? Who knows? Write it down in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, my videos come out. A like, subscribe, and tell others about this interesting and weird guy over here in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskey, even from Japan. All right, see you soon. Bye-bye.